Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Ron Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Students International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Now this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with just two words, Harvest Associates. That is the, the Associates of Harvest. And I'm now taking you back to the lakeside Genesaret, where Peter had toiled all night and caught nothing. Now all of a sudden, Jesus comes to the lake and then he finds Peter mending his nets and then says something to Peter that is very powerful. He said, can I... Lend me your boat and let me just stand upon it and preach. And uh, Peter's going to go take my boat and preach. And so Peter starts, I mean, Peter keep minding his own business. And there is Jesus standing on the boat of, uh, and of, of Peter and then belting out his, his beautiful, powerful sermons, just capturing the crowd. And then when Jesus finished, this is says something to Peter. He says, you know what? Don't judge into the deep. And you know all the things that went on, Peter's doubt, and then he said, well, there's nothing really. But Peter made a statement which is very, very interesting. He said, Lord, we have toiled all night. That's what he said. We have toiled all night. I was surprised because it was Peter alone mending the nets. But the Bible said, when Jesus asked him that, can you launch out to the day? He said, Lord, we have toiled all night. And he was, he was talking in the plural. That means I'm not alone. There are people with me. There are people that I have been through the night with. And we have told all night, we have labored all night and I've caught nothing. So I had associates in my failure. There were people who failed with me. There were people who labored with me. There were people who stood with me in my, in my times of failure. There were people who were there for me in my times of when nothing was happening. And the Bible then says something that really rocked me. At the time of his harvest, when he caught a great drought of fish, he invited those people. He invited the friends who are told with him throughout the night, he invited them to come do the harvest. He invited them to come participate in the harvest. You know, here's the thing. Whether we like it or not, in our climb to wherever we were going to, there are people who might have been in the trenches with us. There are people who labored with us. There are people who really toiled. And you know, there are people who also, who also shed blood for the visions and the goals and the dreams that we have. They were there. They stood by us. They stood with us when we were in tears. They stood with us when there was nothing around. They stood with us when we were nobodies. They stood with us. Then all of a sudden, God raises us in the pinnacles of success. Or God raises us in the pinnacles of great, I mean, harvest, whatever. Now, the challenge that some of us have is we forget. We forget our associates in failure, our associates in adversity, our associates when we are tears. We forget them. Because right now we are successful, so we don't need them anymore. Don't make that mistake. Peter invited his associates in adversity, those who stood with him, and those who fellowship with him around the anvil of adversity. He invited them to become partakers of his harvest. You know one thing? How glorious it is when you hear your harvest. God has been a blessing to you. Our things are happening. You are so excited. How glorious it is to invite the other people to say, come. Come with me. Come stand with me. Come and let's enjoy it together. Hey, we cried together. Hey, we wept together. Hey, we had doubts together. Hey, we went through the night of adversity together. Now it is time for the harvest. Now it is time for success. Come with me. That's what I mean. But you know one of the things? Choices are always yours. And I can't begrudge you that. So, choices are yours. See you later.